that um, we can extract one of these keys, we still need 250,000 traces, which corresponds to a seven hours of measuring time. Of course, the bottleneck here is the communication with the card. You always have to com communicate with the card. That's why it takes so long. And this basically means that you get full access to any MyFair Desfire card, M Desfire ma 3 ICD40 card. Um, and this is our lab setup currently, so we just can insert any MyFair Desfire IC, ma 3 ICD40 card and let it run for three days and automatically extract all of its keys. And the equipment for this attack is pretty cheap, below 2,000 euros, and it's a non-invasive attack because it's ele measuring the electromagnetic field, so um, it's, it has quite a high threat potential, probably. Taking into account where this card is used, it's quite used for. Um, there's a lot of systems that use um, these Desfire cards. One example where the Desfire card is, is still used is the open card system in Prague. So the Czech Republic has invested 40 million euro for this project. About 500,000 cards are issued there. And it's, it's a multi-application contactless card, so you can use it for the public library. You can also use it for parking in the city center if you need a parking space. And it's also most interestingly used for the public transport, so you can buy a yearly ticket onto your open card, which is already quite a, a lot of money. And we usually these open cards are personalized, so you fill out a lot of forms with photograph and all your personal data is stored in this. But the data and privacy movement in the Czech Republic has um, has put some pressure on the politicians, and now you can buy also anonymous open cards. But it's quite complicated because you have to fill in a lot of check forms. And but it's possible, and I bought ten of these, and we analyzed them and extracted the master key uh, of one card and of other cards. And this master key is identical for all open cards. This is of course already quite good because you can format any card of these. And we extracted further um, all secret keys of all the applications. <laughs> yeah. So what we can do currently is access all files on the card, including personal information, and we intend in the year 2013 to maybe find out more things about this open card system. All right, this, uh, it's time to get to the, to the um, contactless payment system, but first I want to introduce another nice uh, tool that we have developed, another open source tool, it's a chameleon. It doesn't look like a contactless smart card, but to an RFID reader it appears like a contactless smart card. Its core is an Atmel ATX Mega microcontroller for five euro, and what it can do currently it is can it can emulate uh, MyFair Classic cards, it can emulate MyFair Desfire cards, and it can also emulate MyFair Desfire EV1 cards. So all the all these cryptographic operations, Crypto One Stream Cipher, and the Triple Des and the AS128 is all implemented, and it's, it's faster even than the original cards. <laughs> and the and the advantage is here that this, um, com compared to buying a, an empty card, is that this device can also emulate the unique identifier of the card. So each, if you buy a card, usually each card has a unique identifier, a unique serial number, and this device can emulate it. So I said it's an open source project. It would be great if people want to contribute or if people would, would also would like to buy it. We also support this, so if there is more requests, we put more efforts in. This side. And then next year, there will also be the new mini version of the Chameleon. I can already announce this. So this is then credit card size. It's more easy to hide it in your purse. Bec before this, you always had to wear a sweater and have half of the device in the, in the sweater to pay with it. And now um, this will be smaller, so it's more easy to hide in the purse. Rok sbírání důkazů na pěti tisících stranách textu. Jeden z aspektů kauzy pražského projektu Open Card se posouvá do další fáze. Policisti uzavřeli vyšetřování a chtějí obžalovat pět bývalých i současných úředníků magistrátu. Problém se zabezpečením platební technologie se může přihodit i soukromému dopravci. Rozdíl je v tom, že soukromí dopravce v konkurenčním prostředí za takovou chybu zaplatí ze svého, a proto bude takové situaci předcházet. Pražskou hromadnou dopravu však platíme nejen z jízdného, ale také z daní. Vždyť Praha dává ročně jen na městskou dopravu okolo 10 miliard korun. To je v přepočtu okolo 8 tisíc na obyvatele Prahy ročně. Případné ztráty z nedostatečně zabezpečených karet automaticky dnes zaplatíme my všichni, ať už prostřednictvím pražského rozpočtu nebo v jízdném. Systémovým řešením je uvolnění trhu hromadné dopravy. To zahrnuje nejen její nedotování z veřejných rozpočtů, ale především snadný vstup na trh i s jinými produkty, než jaké si dokáží představit licence udělující úředníci. 
Dobrým začátkem by byla úprava silničního zákona, spočívající ve zrušení potřeby koncese, povolení a především licence pro provozování linkové dopravy. Thank you.